Amelia Goes here, Director of Communications for Nebraska Cattlemen. Happy Veterans Day! Um, a few updates coming at you. We'll talk about some upcoming events or the lack thereof due to COVID, what our policy team is doing, a little bit of insurance, and more. Due to COVID and the latest restrictions that Governor Pete Ricketts announced last week for Nebraska, we are seeing cancellations across our state affiliate meetings. Please stay up to date on our website calendar. You can find that at www.nebraskacattlemen.org under the events tab. Some of the meetings that we know for sure have been canceled as of right now are the Platte Valley Cattlemen's November meeting, Morrill County Cattlemen's November meeting, and the Western Nebraska Cattlemen's November meeting. Most likely these will be rescheduled, but again, you can find that on our events tab on our website. Another little change is Cattlemen's College that was scheduled for December 1st will be via Zoom only. Um, there will be no in-person meeting in Kearney any longer. You can register and join via Zoom on our website. Again, that is www.nebraskacattlemen.org. Last night, the Cattle Edge webinar um, hosted Rebecca Kern and Terry Bittner with Ward Labs and they examined how crop residue removal impacts soil health. Inspect, they inspected the true cost of baling crop residues, including the often overlooked piece, nutrient removal. And they also go over other considerations for grazing crop residues, such as compaction, nitrates, and meeting animal nutrition requirements. If you missed the webinar, no worries. You can catch it on our website and also listen to it on our podcast, which is featured by Anchor. It is called Heard It Here with a Nebraska Cattleman. You can also catch it on Spotify and all other major podcast stations. Our policy team has been busy this last couple of weeks with hearings. NC Vice President Brenda Masick testified on Friday, November 6th at the legislative interim hearing on LR 380 which is on state meat inspection. This interim study introduced by Senator Tom Brewer of District 43 opens up discussion on whether the state of Nebraska should reinstate meat inspection. Since 1970, Nebraska has operated solely under federal USDA inspection. Currently, 27 other states run their own state meat inspection in conjunction with the USDA FSIS. The feds provide up to 50% of the funds to operate these programs, and the state is responsible for the remainder of the program operating costs. A state program operating under a cooperative agreement with FSIS must demonstrate that its inspection program is at least equivalent to USDA. However, state inspection meat is limited to interstate commerce only. Unless a state opts into a cooperative interstate shipment of state inspected meats program. Another testimony that we did this week was with NC Tax Committee Vice Chair Levon Heideman. He testified on Tuesday, November 10th at the legislative hearing on LR 415, which is on the inheritance tax. The interim study introduced by Senator Robert Clemens. District 2 examines the state inheritance tax to current structure and recommendations on whether it should be amended, replaced, or repealed. NC has long-standing policy supporting the continuation of the Nebraska inheritance tax. Our members feel strongly its elimination would result in pressure on country, county governments to replace the lost revenue by increasing property tax which we have strong policy on decreasing property tax. The Nebraska Insurance Group has been monitoring the insurance marketplace closely this year to stay up to date with changes that affect Nebraska ag producers and our members. As a result, we have become aware that a major provider of property and casualty insurance for Nebraska feedlots has decided to reduce their exposure in the Nebraska ag sector. If you have received communication that your insurance relationship with this provider will be terminated upon expiration of your current policy, we wanted you to know that the Nebraska Cattlemen Insurance Group does have a relationship 
and access to all major carriers providing insurance coverage for Nebraska beef producers. We would love the opportunity to discuss your options with you and your operation, so you please contact NCIG representative Jeff Willis at 402-366-5431 or email him at ncig at necattleman.org. All of his contact information can also be found on our website, which once again is www.nebraskacattleman.org. Backed by popular demand, the Nebraska Beef Council is once again taking orders for Good Life Great Steaks t-shirts. They have also added additional apparel including long sleeve t-shirts, hooded sweatshirts, and performance wear. Also, youth sizes are also now available. Ordering closes November 30th and you'll have your shirts by December 16th, so don't delay um, and get your shirts ordered now. The link will be posted in the comments of this video. Some more unfortunate news to share with you all. Um, Dr. Jeff Fox passed away over the weekend. Dr. Fox was currently serving as our Animal Health and Nutrition Chair. He was heavily involved with our organization and will be greatly missed. I will see you all next Wednesday around noon. In the meantime, catch us on our other social channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, and also follow along on our website, www.nebraskacattlemen.org.